Give Basa to the pack. It is pack here. <laughs> and in today's video, I am talking about the brand new roster update. The third one for NBA 2K24. This is the last one of the year. What I do is I go to every single NBA team and talk about the biggest changes of every single squad. I'm doing that in today's video. If you like roster rating update changes, I do it bi-weekly. So please join the pack and subscribe and let's get in, man. Starting off with the Philadelphia 76ers, as I always do, Joel Embiid plus one. This is a big deal because that makes him tied as the best player in the NBA. A, he is having an historical season, dropping 35 a game on great efficiency. Here's the big thing about this though. There's very few players that have ever been in this kind of rating discussion. Joel Embiid is entering elite company. DeAnthony Melton goes minus one, but Marcus Morris goes plus two. The fact that he was at a 74 overall is insane because nobody believes he was that bad. Finally, a good rating for him. For the Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis plus one to a 97 overall. He is one off of Embiid and Jokic, but I think Giannis should always have been at a 97 overall. He's been that good for years. Damian Lillard minus one. I cannot believe this. I'm pretty sure he's averaging around 40 points in the last three games. To drop him that much is insane, insane decision. Brooke Lopez minus one and Bobby Portis plus one. For the most part, downgrades for this team, but I don't agree with 2K on this Milwaukee Bucks changes. For the Chicago Bulls, DeMar DeRozan plus one, making him the best player on the Bulls again, but way more importantly is Kobe White plus four to an 81 overall. First time in his career has gone to the 80 overall club. Kobe White's fascinating because he was averaging 15 points per game in 2021 and then just fell off the next two years. And I was like, what happened to this guy? But the last two weeks, he's been dropping 22 points per game. The Bulls have low-key been winning. It's a complete turnaround. It was complete darkness for this franchise. And now Kobe White is changing the narrative. Patrick Williams also goes plus two. And those are the major changes for the team. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, Max Struess minus one. And Tristan Thompson plus one. Tristan Thompson is so funny because it's like, how is this dude still getting upgrades in the NBA this late in his career, right? I thought he was done and he's still succeeding. Dean Wade also goes plus two and that's it for the Cavs. For the Boston Celtics, Jason Tatum minus one. I've always felt he's been about a 94 overall. I don't disagree with that. Brown plus one, almost putting him into the 90 overall club where I think he belongs. And Derek White plus one, who's oh, to this day, I wish he was on the Spurs, bro. He's so good. They need to make him bald though. They need to update him like real quick. For the Los Angeles Clippers, who have been winning recently, kind of shutting up the critics, Kawhi plus one, I'd argue probably even higher than that, Zubach plus one, and PJ Tucker minus one. That's it for this team. Now, I do feel that Paul George is still a 90 overall player. I still feel like James Harden has proven a lot of doubters wrong so far and should have got at least like a plus one, but the Clippers are on the up and up and they've been winning. The Memphis Grizzlies are hoping everything is going to go back to normal. John Moran's back, which is obviously a W for the franchise, already hitting a game winner on his game back. Desmond Bain plus one to an 85 overall. Bismack Biombo goes minus two. And Vince Williams Jr. goes plus four. So for the most part, upgrades besides Bismack Biombo for the Memphis Grizzlies, they are still trying to make the playoffs with this roster. For the Atlanta Hawks, Trey Young plus one. Bogdanovich plus one, tied as the third best player on the team. That's really it for the Atlanta Hawks. I feel like they've had a very boring year, roster-wise and actual NBA-wise, in my opinion. Dude, Jaime Jaquez, plus three. I think he's gotten like a plus eight for the year so far. 80 overall club member as a rookie. He is him. Caleb Martin, plus two. Duncan Robinson, minus one. And then we have Orlando Robinson, who was a demon in the summer league, plus three. For the most part, the Heat are looking very good compared to last season and the regular season. For the Charlotte Hornets, Terry Rozier, plus two to an 82 overall. Miles Bridges, minus one, still an 80 overall club member. Gordon Hayward, plus one. And Ish Smith, all the way back here, minus one. Besides that, though, pretty straightforward. More than anything, it's Terry Rozier going off because there's no one to score besides him right now. For the Utah Jazz, we have Colin Sexton, plus two, back into the 80 overall club since he was in Cleveland. Keontae George, one of the better rookies this season, also went off in the summer league, plus two to a 76. Very good changes for the Utah Jazz for the future. The Sacramento Kings, DeMontis Sabonis, minus one, and Keegan Murray, 
plus three. It was only a matter of time before Keegan Murray was going to be the number three option on this team. It's happening soon. He is a sniper. He is so good. We have Kevin Herter, minus two. This dude goes minus two or three, and then plus two, three, every other roster update. It's insane. It does feel weird to see Lyles over Herter, though. For the New York Knicks, Jalen Brunson, 89 overall, plus two. I want to clarify something. He might be the first 90 overall Knicks since, like, Carmelo Anthony. That's crazy. Julius Randle did make an 88 overall for a little bit, but no one's reached 89 overall since Jalen Brunson. He is the first guy at this level. Julius Randle plus two. He finally got the respect. He's been playing a lot better. And they finally upgraded him. Because I, I feel like Julius Randle, when he plays bad, you downgrade him so easily. But when he plays good, I feel like no one talks about it. They're finally giving him his upgrade. RJ Barrett minus two. Super inconsistent this season. And Emmanuel quickly minus two as well. For the Los Angeles Lakers, Anthony Davis plus one. It's weird for him not to be anything besides a 93 now. 92, 92 is a little disrespectful for Anthony Davis. So I'm glad that they upgraded him. Rui Hachimura minus one out of the 80 overall club. Terion Prince goes plus one, finding a serious role with this team. This team is looking good. They're always going to be NBA championship contenders when you have LeBron James and Anthony Davis at least playing well. The Orlando Magic, more upgrades for this team, dude. Fonz Wagner, plus one, getting him closer to Paolo Bancaro. Cole Anthony, plus two. I felt that he's been the consistent third best player on this team, and I think 2K finally agrees with that. Jalen Suggs, plus one, having an amazing year. Gary Harris, minus two, coming back down to earth. <coughs> Overall, though, the Orlando Magic are playing so good this season. Good for them. Dallas Mavericks. Luka Doncic plus one. An MVP caliber player this season. Dude, Dante Exum is a top five player on the Dallas Mavericks. Plus four. What on earth has happened? I don't know where he came from, but he's going off for Dallas. Grant Williams has slowed down since the start of the year. Minus one. And Derek Jones Jr. plus two. For Brooklyn, very short roster update. Cam Thomas minus one, and he's still a bucket anyways. And Dennis Smith Jr. plus four. That's it. For the champs, Michael Porter Jr. minus two to an 82, and Reggie Jackson plus one. Nothing crazy going on so far, but Aaron Gordon, I believe now, is the first time ever the straight up third best player rating wise for Denver. I do think he brings so much more to the table than Michael Porter Jr. So I think that's right. Controversial opinion time for me. I always get one a video. Tyrese Halliburton plus two to a 94 overall. Listen, bro. Listen, he's awesome. He makes the finals of the in-season tournament. He's averaging more assists than anybody since like, who? Who's the last person that's averaged like 12 assists a game? Maybe Chris Paul did it. If you pass that, maybe Steve Nash. Like no one averages high assist numbers like this anymore. He's the only guy. Look, I think the rating is a little bit too high. I think if you put him at a 93, I would have been like, yeah, like I could see him tied with like Anthony Davis type of player. But to put him above that, it does feel a little bit of an exaggeration. That's my controversial opinion. I still think he's him. I still think he's a 92, 93 overall. I think 94 is a little bit too high. But plus two for Tyrese. Miles Turner minus one. It's impressive what Tyrese Halliburton is doing with nobody in that 85 overall range as a teammate. <sighs> okay, we have a lot of changes for the Pelicans. Zion plus one. Okay, almost a 90 overall player. Brandon Ingram, plus one. John Avana Jones, plus one. Trey Murphy, up to the 80 overall club, plus one. By the way, they have six 80 overall club members. Jose Alvarado, plus one. Najee Marshall, plus two. Everybody got upgraded on this team. It's crazy. Besides CJ McCollum, it's wild. Okay, remember what I just said about the Pelicans and upgrades? Let's reverse that for the Detroit Pistons. Cade Cunningham, minus one. Thompson, minus two. Bagley, minus one. Jaden Ivey, minus one. Alec Burks, minus one. And Isaiah Livers, or Livers, minus one. The only upgrade is James Wiseman and Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes gets a plus one, and James Wiseman plus two. Let's hope James Wiseman can figure it out and become that, you know, great pick that he was supposed to be. For the Toronto Raptors, Scotty Barnes, plus one. Pascal Siakam, plus one. Dennis Schroeder, minus one. No crazy changes for this team. They're kind of in no man's land right now. But Scotty Barnes and Pascal still tied as the best player on the Raptors. For the Rockets, Fred Van Vliet, plus one. Jalen Green, minus one. Dylan Brooks, back to the 80 overall club, plus one. And Tari Eason, plus two. The Rockets have had a surprisingly good season. Six players in the 80 overall club. It's crazy that Jalen Green's not the second best player anymore, but now it's Fred Van Vliet. But that's where we're at. For the San Antonio Spurs, Victor Wembanyama plus one. 
86 overall, like he was two roster updates ago. But everyone else is horrible. Zach Collins minus one, Jeremy Sohan minus one. It's just top to bottom. This team is struggling. It's just Victor Wembanyama cooking, and that's it. He's dropping now that he's center. He's dropping like 25 and 15 a game with like six blocks, and they can't win games. Is like depressing. The Suns, Eric Gordon minus one, Grayson Allen plus one. That's it. The Suns are still trying to figure out who they are. Bradley Beal got hurt again, so we still don't know how good they look until everybody's healthy. The Thunder, SGA plus one, 95 overall. That is a huge rating, but it's hard to deny that he's earned it because he's earned it. Poku goes minus two. He's been all over the place. Besides that though, this team has been doing pretty good, but no one's at the level of SGA at all. The number one team in the West, the Minnesota Timberwolves, Anthony Edwards minus one, Conley Towns plus one, Rudy Gobert plus one, and Mike Conley plus one. Back to the 80 overall. Though. The team is a great defensive team and you have great scorers in Cat and also Anthony Edwards. There's a reason they're one of the best teams in the NBA. For Portland, a couple changes. Anthony Simons plus one, Malcolm Brogdon minus one. So now Anthony Simons is the best player, non-contest. Shaden Sharp plus two to an 82 overall, tied as the second best player. And Scoo Henderson finally found his footing, plus one to a 76 overall. For the Warriors, not major changes. Kevon Looney minus one, Andrew Wiggins plus one, and then Jonathan Kaminga also got a plus two. And Brandon gets plus two, been upgrading a lot lately. He's actually getting a starting spot now and playing well. Finally, the Wizards. Tyus Jones plus one, 80 overall club member, passing Jordan Poole. It's sad how bad Jordan Poole has been. And Daniel Gafford plus one, and that's it for the Wizards. They've been pretty bad. Okay, boys, that's it. Couple changes here and there. Let me know if you agree or disagree with 2K. Leave it in the comments below. And if you like this channel, hey, give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time.